Good afternoon. My name is Jim Leonard. I'm the athletic director and head basketball coach at Wayne Trace. I'd like to start by thanking everyone in attendance tonight, especially the Grandview community, Coach Corbett, for making this long trip to honor Steve and his family.
Steve always had a mind for mathematics, which initially led him into the field of engineering. And although he was highly successful in this career choice, he realized his true passion was working with children. This led him into a career as a mathematics teacher and coach with the Grandview Heights School System, a well-respected school system in suburban Columbus, where he spent the final years of his life having positive impacts on the youth he encountered on a daily basis. At this time, we have a few people that would like to make a brief statement on Steve's behalf. And let's start with his family. His sister, Angie Spies, is here. Angie.
But that being said, I, I don't want to have my back to anyone. I want to speak to you all. And I, too, uh, to get through this kind of <laughs> Good evening and thank you so much for being here tonight. For those of you that don't know me, I am Kevin Richards, also known as Spanky to those that knew me from college. Steve was my college roommate for three years, and following his career uh, at Risk Heat, Steve and I taught in the same class, we in the same building, in classrooms right next to each other at Grandview for 18 years. I grew up in a community like Payne, but on the other side of the state, Northeast Ohio. The first time that Steve invited me to come home with him when he was a freshman in college, I knew that this day was imminent. Here's why. Whenever we went, wherever we went, in Payne, Havlin, Lanning, Van Horn, Convoy, and I mean everywhere, we went, everyone knew who Steve Hall was, and everybody wanted to talk to him. So this is why this evening is happening. It is not solely on the basketball abilities that he possessed, and there have been many outstanding basketball players that have played here. This night is happening because Steve would stop and talk to every single one of those people that wanted to talk to him. Later on, Kelly and I, we would go to different events. Didn't matter where we went, we were the last ones to leave because Steve had time for everyone. He, not, he never got bigger than where he was raised. He wasn't the one that got the scholarship to Ohio State, who won two big championships and graduated with a degree in engineering, but he was just Steve Hall from Payne, Ohio. He loved this town, this area, and all the people that were from here. After graduating from Ohio State, Steve used his degree to land himself a great job with an incredible salary and benefits. His job afforded him the opportunity to travel all over the United States and Europe, which Steve cherished as much as anything. For those who knew Steve, this was a dream job. Money and an opportunity to travel on the company, company's expense account. Two years into this dream job, Steve called me to explain that he wanted to quit his job and become a teacher. His reasoning? I do not think that I'm giving back anything to society. I'm very comfortable with where I am, but I have to give back. I tried to reason with him and explain to him how great his job was. It didn't matter because he was going to be a teacher and start opposing the moral and ethical values from Payne, Ohio, on so many lucky students. Brisk Heat, where he was employed, helped pay for him to go to Ohio Dominican to get his teaching certificate. He did his student teaching with me one spring. And when two math teachers retired that spring, he was offered a job at Grandview for that fall. Steve interviewed in a number of districts in central Ohio and was offered a job at every single one of them. He turned out each job to teach at Grandview because, quote, this is most like where I grew up. schools and communities are measurable. His values, work ethic, dedication, and enthusiasm for life was continuous. He touched every person he came in contact with. Today, as his jersey is lifted to the rafters, his basketball accomplishments are just a small part of why we celebrate his team. His, jer his jersey represents all that we want in ourselves and our children. For those of you that do not know about the fat man, that Kenny spoke of. It's a group of dads at Grandview who basically enjoy each other's company, but also have the same desires as Steve to do for others. The fat man helped create and maintain the um, Steve Hall Memorial Scholarship Fund. We award financial gifts to graduating seniors from Grandview each year. The scholarship is given each year to a student or students that most closely show the characteristics of exactly who Steve was. The selfless, giving, loving, fun, family man that he was. And now, I'm happy to announce that this year we will be giving a $1,050 scholarship each year to a graduating senior from Wayne Trace High School in the name of Steve Hall.
all the love and kindness over the years of my travels to Maine. Thank you for raising such a wonderful, inspirational person and sharing him with us in Grand God bless you all. We 
got a new dog when Steve was in about the 11th grade, I suppose. And you know what the kids wanted to call that dog? What they named him? Halsey. <laughs> Halsey. That's what he meant to our family. That's, that's what we thought of him. We were all blessed to have Steve Hall in our lives. Randy, you, I know you found that out also. Uh, most unselfish individual you're ever going to find. He never had a bad day. Never had a bad day. And he never found anything bad in anyone that he was around. He was just that kind of guy. I want to close with saying this. First of all, he was a great player, a great son, a great brother, a great teacher, a great husband, a great father, and just an all-around great person. I miss him. I know it was all the rest of us missing, but uh, what a great person. Thank you, Lord, for letting me coach this young man. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, also in attendance tonight, State Representative Tony Berkeley. He has a special presentation. Thank you, Kenny. Nothing prepares you for losing a child, and it's not the length of time that you're, you're given. It's the impact you have on those that are around you, those you come in contact with, the influence you have over them. And uh, Steve is evident by what has happened here tonight and also uh, what happens in uh, Grand Prix Heights. Uh, but it doesn't fall far from the tree. John and Roseanne are two of the dearest people you ever want to meet. And on behalf of the state of Ohio and the House of Representatives, I want to present this to uh, John and Roseanne. It says, Steve Hall was a remarkable individual for a combined, for he combined civic concern and commitment with selfless initiative to become a dynamic leader in the community. A graduate of Wayne Trace High School, where he played basketball and other sports, he went on to play basketball at the Ohio State University, earning scholar-athlete honors for all four years, and then he taught math and coached girls tennis and boys and girls basketball at Grandview Heights High School during his 18-year career. His life will be celebrated at the 2016 boys basketball game between Wayne Trace and Grandview Heights High School, and his high school jersey number will be retired. Through his unwavering dedication and excellence, he certainly distinguished himself as a conscientious and honored working Ohio. Steve Hall's exceptional record of personal and professional achievement stands as a hallmark worthy, worthy of emulation, and his example has inspired countless people to excel in various areas of endeavor. The respect and admiration he earned throughout his life are clearly evident and his legacy of accomplishment serves as justification, as a justifiable source of pride for family and his schools. Thus, with sincere pleasure, we salute the memory of Steve Hall on the dedication of the Steve Hall Memorial Basketball Game.
we conclude tonight's ceremony, we wish to extend an invitation to everyone in attendance to please participate in a time of reminiscing and fellowship following tonight's first ever meeting between the Wayne Trace Raiders and the Grandview Heights Bobcats. Also, please be reminded that we have a silent auction taking place in the cafeteria where proceeds will go to Stephen Kelly's children. Tonight's auction will conclude at the end of the third quarter. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.